I was looking into it and I researched it and I'm just like, OMG, this is bad. This is so bad. This is an attack for every exotic pet owner. Every exotic pet owner in America is under attack by the government right now. It doesn't matter if you're a Republican or Democrat or um, none associated with any party. So every exotic pet owner is attacked. beautiful CVPs welcome to my channel today's a lovely day but there's something very serious going on which I'm gonna tell you in a bit but let's get a Hopi flying and let's get him in the air are you Hopi ready let's get over your GPS go fly come on one two three go 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 Hopi go go fly oh there's, there's two hawks come on Hopi and the two hawks you don't want to fly, there's two hawks. Maybe quick flies? Speedy flies? Speedy flies? Okay, one, two, three, go! Speedy flies. wants to fly too. You have to do road trips, but it's so windy still. Can't fly in the wind. Hey, Hopi. Guys, it's really, really windy. And there's two hawks up in the sky. Hope did great. He flew two little rounds. That's fine, Hopi. That's fine. Okay, guys, I have to tell you something really, really urgent. This is an urgent video. This is an emergency video. That it's danger, danger for all exotic pet owners. My friend Tracy from um, Texas, she sends me. So Tracy sends me this text message. Good morning, sending you a link to look over about an act that passed called Lacey Act. And it's off to the Senate. It is another act called American Comp. Pitis Act. I'm going to be looking more into it and see specifics, but pretty much everyone is freaking out. It sounds very disturbing when it comes to parrots and reptiles, etc. I don't know if this is only for bringing them into the United States or if you have a parrot that they will not allow you to travel outside of your state with them. We'll find out. I thought i share and pass along so that you are aware of it and we'll have to see what all of this means. Alert American Competus Act of 2022 Lacey Act. I was looking into it and I researched it and I'm just like, OMG, this is bad. This is so bad. This is an attack for every exotic pet owner. Every exotic pet owner in America is under attack by the government right now. It doesn't matter if you're a Republican or Democrat or um, none associated with any party. So every exotic pet owner is attacked and that goes for the whole reptile community the whole parrot community the whole snake community the whole monkey community and the whole tiger community every community that has exotic pets is under attack and here's why there's a new law they want to pass it's called the lazy law all over america and they're so sneaky the new government is so sneaky and they, they, they put it in a 3,000 page bill and it's like in the middle, in the center. They really hope that it will go under and that people won't notice it. This has been already signed off by the House and it's going right now this week to the Senate. And we know that the House is half-half and the Senate is like more, I think, Republicans than Democrats. But this is not a political thing. This is not about Republicans or Democrats. This is about pet owners. Every pet owner is under attack and here's why. In this lazy law, they are saying that we are forbidden, pet owners are forbidden, exotic pet owners are forbidden to transport our pets um, above state lines that means if i want to like move out of california um i can't take my pets i don't know what to do i'm stuck in california i cannot take them across state lines this is really bad 
This is also for all breeders. If breeders want to sell their baby birds, they cannot ship it across state lines in the state where they are breeding. Let's say there's a breed in Hawaii. He wants to sell me a high scent macaw. He <coughs> cannot ship. He cannot ship. He's, he's going to go out of business. Let's say if there's a sanctuary. They, <coughs> they want to like rehome a parrot, a Amazon parrot to somebody from Kentucky to, let's say, <coughs> Idaho, Idaho. And they can't do it because it's against state law um it's against the state policy and they cannot like you know rehome they they pet across state line this is really bad guys the most dangerous point is we cannot transport our exotic pets above state lines and then let's say my friend my friend he lives in arizona right and there's no vet in Arizona. He has exotic birds. He has parrots. His next the best <coughs> vet is like in Las Vegas. That's an hour drive. He has to drive to Las Vegas to have his <coughs> birds check up by an exotic <coughs> vet because there's no exotic vet in Arizona around Canyon <coughs> Bullhead. The next vet, my friend told me, is in Las Vegas. Now he cannot save his bird. He cannot go with his bird to Las Vegas and bring it to the vet. This is bad, guys. This is so bad. This is an attack, not only for parrots, but also for rabbits, turtles, all exotic monkeys and tigers and big cats. And this is like parrots. Like this is an attack for all parrot community. And we have to like really come together and sign this petition. I'm going to link it below in this description. Sign this petition let's get over 5,000 signatures share this video guys share this video everybody who has a owner of a macaw or a bird or a parrot has to sign this petition or, or if you even have a rabbit and guess what if you have a dog or cat and you say oh this is just like it doesn't really affect me this is just the exotic no you know first they come for the exotic pets then they come for the domestic pets this is just the beginning so you guys have to like sign and share this video so that this law will not get passed we have to fight now because this is bs this is like the biggest bs law and bill they're gonna pass and this is affecting us all yeah, so they're going to come for your cats and dogs next. After the exotics, it will be cats and dogs. They don't want people to own anything anymore because that's towards what they're going through. This is a whole new agenda where they say you will own nothing and you'll be still happy. This is the agenda 2030 and this is starting right now with our exotic pets that we can't move them. Like they take our rights little by little, little by little. And you know, like back then in Auschwitz in Germany, when the Belgian Jews, they, the Nazis came in to get the Belgian Jews, guess what? They say, oh, we didn't know it was so bad. Little by little, their rights have been taken away and they are changing society little by little, you know? And then we conform, we comply, we let it happen. The law gets passed. And once the law gets passed, we cannot reverse it. It will be so hard to reverse it. Once the law is passed, he says, you'll fight it. No then it's too late. We have to fight now. So if you can write a letter to your Senate, um, and if you don't know your Senate, like Google your mayor office, and here's a template I will link below where you can write your Senate, and every pet owner has to write this letter to the, to the senators in their state. It's so important, guys. And if you are a kid, you can't do it. When you're 14 or 15 or 16 or a teenager, ask your parents to help you because this is bad. This is so bad, guys. This is really, really bad. So let's get together. Let's unite as all exotic pet owners and fight this bill together. And let's just like forget of all our differences, free flyer, non-free flyer, clippers, non-clippers, breeders, non-breeders, sanctuaries, non-sanctuaries. It doesn't matter who you are, and where you stand. What really matters is that we can keep our animals. And then where we go, our animals will go. Where we go, our pets will go. And not that they, they, they take away our rights. This is the beginning of taking away our rights. And they sneak it in. Very sneaky. They sneak it in in this 3,000 bill page um, to have it go unintended. Poppy. It's a nice wind. Are the hawks gone? There's a bird. Okay, go fly, Opie. <laughs> All right, ready, Opie? Go fly. Come. 
1 go fly 1 2 3 go <laughs> Okay guys, share this video again. Let everybody know, share it in parrot groups. Let everybody know to sign this petition, to sign, sign this change.org. Tell it other people and make videos about it. Talk about it. This is really important. Let's keep our exotic pets. <laughs> Wherever we go, they should go. The next thing is like, what is if a state says, oh, no exotic pets, no exotic pets is allowed anymore in people's home and they come and take them away. Like, this is the first step. You're not allowed to travel, take them over state lines. The next thing is you're not even able to keep them or hold them, that's against the law. Guys, government is organized crime. They're the worst organized crime in all the world because they detect what we have to do and they take away our freedom or they give us our freedom. Little by little, right now, because of Corona or COVID, they take away our freedom. They have the power and it's all legal. Every government is organized crime. That's always what my dad say. And that's what I saw this year and last year and the year before that when I saw 2020 in the world. And the scary part is, remember 2020, when I started making some political videos about COVID and stuff like that, people say, oh, you're a conspiracy terrorist, Caroline. It's all conspiracy. I was like, oh, false vaccine is coming. Fauzi has it wrong. This virus is man-made, blah, blah, blah. And people are like, oh, like, like, you are wrong. It's not true. And boom, here we are now, two years later. Force mandate, force vaccinations, uh, loss of freedoms, lockdown, people losing their business. I was right all along two years ago. If you go back in my video and check out two years ago, I, um, there's a video that says, I'm afraid of the bad big wolf. And that was COVID, when COVID just happened. And I already knew something is totally off. So this thing with this new law is also totally off. This is just this is a fact this is fact this is not even it's already out there you don't need to be a conspiracy terrorist to like know that this is like taking away our rights bit by bit little by little first like you give them a little finger guess what they take your whole hand your whole body and then you are all like swallow up by them and this is what they're doing they take the little finger just merely a little like oh pets exotic pets are not uh, not allowed to like go across state line but then the next thing is you are not allowed to own exotic pets and they can't take them away and the next thing is like you'll be you'll be happy you'll own nothing and you'll be happy have you ever googled agenda 2030 go on google google agenda 2030 google klaus schwab check out those videos agenda 2030 is scary as heck it's creepy it's creepy check out this video this is like what we are going towards like for the future and this is what they want to implement, a hunger game society. So it goes little by little. First, take a little finger, then the hand, then your whole body, and then they own you. And you own nothing and you're still happy. And you know what the weird thing about it is when they say you own nothing and you will still be happy? Yeah, you are like the little pawn in they, they, 
their chess game and they are the kings and queens and they will own everything and they will be even happier because they have all the control over all the people in the whole world and that's just one percent of those billionaires but anyway this is a totally and different subject agenda 2030 what we are fighting is right now um, the lazy law and we need everybody to sign this lazy law to stop the, the to stop this law and this bill getting passed because once it gets passed it's too late so I hope I hope I hope this went really into your minds and hearts and spirit so that you can share this video and start sending letters out to your senate and let us let us fight together let's let us unite and fight together this craziness this insaneness this lunaticness from this new government it's crazy like i i just can't believe it that it's already passed in the house and it will go really really quick so we don't have much time if we want to fight it we have to all unite and all write letters to our senate and just mail it out and fight and stand the line and hold the line because enough is enough okay guys go check out the link below ow go check out the link below go sign the petition i already signed it um go share this video go share the petition in parrot groups all over the place love don't break my love don't break my love, love wants to break my glasses no 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 love 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 don't break my glasses oh. what do you have there he has already my hook he has my hook how did you get that Okay, guys, I love you. And thank you guys for watching. Like this video, subscribe. Go check out my book, Angelic Parrots, if you want to train your bird for free flight. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Happy weekend.